Hi, I'm Susan Kennedy of Pretty Peaceful, and we are out on my front porch on this beautiful July day for a massive giveaway of yarn kits for projects in my book, Crochet Southwest Spirit. Thank you to everyone who has already bought this book um, on Amazon or your local bookshop or wherever you bought it. I appreciate your support, and I hope you love it, and I hope you maybe try to make something from it. And if you do, share with me on Ravelry or Instagram at Pretty Peaceful Crochet. I would love to see it. So today I have a um, massive giveaway. So much yarn. Uh, I'm going to show you here in the next few minutes. I have six different yarn kits that I will be giving away that all include a copy of the book. Um, and if you have already purchased Crochet Southwest Spirit um, and you get this, you win this <laughs> extra copy, uh, I encourage you to take it down to your public library. And that gift of this book can keep on giving as people can check it out. Um, my friend Rachel, <laughs> shout out Rachel, <laughs> is uh, one of the experts uh, who works at our library uh, here in Bayfield, Colorado, our Pine River Library. It's like the community hub, the heart of the town, and um, I donated a copy there and it's just really fun. She texts me when it gets checked out and all the other libraries that are carrying it all over the world. So. Um, Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> and, uh, you know, see if your local library has this. Maybe you can check it out. So I have six yarn kits that go with um, different projects in this book. So um, the way you can enter to win this yarn kit giveaway is to leave a comment. Um, I'm going to post the video on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. So you can comment once on each of those videos. And I will ship these yarn kits anywhere in the world. If you live in a country where you have to pay duty on your um, packages from the U.S., you will have to pay for your duty. <laughs> I will, uh, on the customs form, put yarn kit with a $10 uh, U.S. dollar value on it. Um, so just be aware of that. And only enter once <laughs> per, per uh, person per app. So let's get started. The first yarn kit I have to show you is for the very first, uh, the very second pattern in the book, the Artisan Market Baskets. This is a beginner pattern and it is a scrap friendly pattern, um, which means you can use up a lot of different odds and ends. And there are a couple different options for this basket. You can leave the straps really long um, to make like a tote bag or shorter ba uh, baskets for around the house. So, um, I'll show you a couple that I have made here. <laughs> this is the large size basket, and right now it's holding my mandala yarn cakes, but I really love these giant baskets in my um, craft area, my little yarn studio upstairs. Absolutely essential to have good baskets for crochet. <laughs> this is a small size, and I put my son's little cat, uh, his name is Zeke in here, because he really wanted me to take a picture of a cat sitting in one of these baskets, <laughs> but we don't have a cat. So he was like, put the cat in there and he was like, mom, take a picture. So this size is really cute. Um, that's the small size. And you can also put long straps on them like this one here um, uh, to wear it more like a tote bag. This is also a small size one just with longer straps. And that black one in the book with the long handles, that's a large one with the long straps. So I have two um, yarn kits to give away for this basket pattern. And uh, in a long standing tradition of my family, I don't know if my mom or my grandma started this tradition, but um, anytime anyone would have a wedding shower, my mom would buy the, the bride a pink nightgown and a blue nightgown so that she would be blessed with a, a boy and a girl. So I think that's really sweet. And I think she said her, her mom used to do it too. So for some reason I started pulling pinks and I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta pull the blue too. <laughs> Maybe the person who wins this uh, has kids and you know wants to make a pink or a blue basket or, um, I don't know. I just thought it was really fun. So the first uh, yarn kit I'll show you, this is the pink basket kit. So if you want to win this one, uh, comment pink basket kit on there as your first choice and if you want to put a second choice um, feel free because uh, I'm going to use a random number generator to choose the winning comment out of however many comments there are um, so I'll look at which uh, what's your number one number two choice for a kit and I'll do my best to you know match that up <laughs> I may uh, have more people that want one kit over another one but this kit is really fun. It has two uh, big balls of Lion Brand 
feels like butter yarn, which is like, uh, I don't know what it is made of. I guess it's polyester, but so soft. So that's fun. It has two balls of uh, Caron Simply Soft in these two different colors that adds kind of like a sheen. Because the fun thing about this basket is really mixing and matching the textures. Um, I kept it pretty tame in those blue ones there, but like uh, I have another one upstairs I should have brought down where I used a eyelash yarn and just mixing in all sorts of bits of, I used like neutral colors, whites and grays, and some of it was fluffy and it looks really cool. So I also threw in a, a ball of pink velvet here just to add that cool texture factor. Um, we have some line brand Kobu. This is cotton and rayon from Bamboo Mix. Uh, we have some ice yarns, Camilla Cotton, which is a mercerized cotton yarn. Uh, we have another cotton that's line brand 24-7, also mercerized cotton. We have some bamboo pop here. Um, this is line brand basic stitch, I believe. And this is a little bit more care on Simply Soft here. So a good mix of yarns. And the way these baskets are made is you hold seven strands together as if they were one. And you crochet with a really big hook. And it's all single crochet, super beginner friendly. Um, so in this kit, you get all of that yarn and then also the straps, where did I put those? Um, the straps for the basket, I'll show you those. The leather straps to um, add to your basket. And I already punched the little holes in them for you because I have a leather punch. I know not everybody has those. And then also the Chicago screws, eight Chicago screws hardware. These are just screw-in rivets that I like to attach my handles with. I also have learned from experience to put a little dot of glue because sometimes the rivets come undone. Um, you can always just sew back and forth with your favorite color of pink to attach that if you don't want to do the rivets. So that's the pink yarn basket kit. It is a really fun one. Um, really fun mix of pinks and, and textures and colors. And my second basket kit, this is going to be called the blue basket kit. And my inspiration for this, living here in the Southwest, was lapis lazuli. I just kept thinking of that, like, rich blue gemstone color. And maybe it's because the Gem and Mineral show just came through my town <laughs> recently. That This one has really um, fun, long leather, a little bit longer leather straps. So if you want to make this into a tote, you can. Um, I did poke the holes already, but if you want to shorten the handles and just... Uh, make smaller basket handles just cut the leather and poke some new holes there so this one has a really fun mix of yarns in it too it has um half each of <laughs> two hobie cakes is it hobby or hobie i don't even know how to say that word i realize now um i believe this is the color oppenheimer blue um it's a really beautiful gradient but these are just left over from my um i believe from my glove trucker throw it may have been the um canyon moon blanket for my book um, and then we got a bunch of other beautiful yarns. There's some Rowan hand knit cotton. This is what I used for my dreamers path wrap in the book. So it uh, looks like about six or seven, eight balls of that. Uh, really beautiful hand knit cotton, DK weight cotton. Um, there's a little bit of velvet because I love to throw in that velvet texture in a basket just to really, um, you know, spark things up a little bit. There's some Camilla cotton. Um, a couple of acrylics that I believe are mandala yarn, all caked up here. Um, a little bit of line brand cotton, because I really like that texture the line brand cotton provides. And then a little bit of sock yarn. This might have some wool in it, just uh, FYI for those who might be sensitive to wool. I think it's maybe a fraction of wool in that one, but the rest of the yarns are vegan here. Um, I believe all of the yarns in that pink yarn kit are also um, wool free, mostly, you know, cotton, bamboo, polyester, acrylic, that kind of thing. So those are the first two. <laughs> I think maybe I'll change the scene and it's get kind of hot here on the porch and go in the backyard for the rest of the video here. All right, we're back in my favorite little aspen grove here, back behind my house, taking a shade break, nature break. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this beautiful forest, San Juan National Forest. Uh, while I show you the next two yarn kits, which are for the Wind River Rug. Um, just a few days ago, I looked on um, Ravelry to see if I could see, you know, what everybody's been favoriting, what are the kind of the most popular patterns from the book so far. And unsurprisingly, <laughs> the cover photo 
cover project here in my modern bohemian blanket uh, has been the most popular. I hope a lot of you are making it and having fun with that. Um, I love the ones I've made. I've made six or seven of them now and um, they're just fun. They really last. I accidentally felted one. <laughs> but um, the second most popular pattern, I believe, was the Wind River weighted blanket pattern, which also makes a rug, depending on um, which hook size you use. So um, today I have two yarn kits for the Wind River rug, which is this one here on this uh, cowboy fence in Mancus. My friend Donna Lightning Feather took that beautiful photo right outside of her house. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. So um, the first yarn kit for this um, pattern, uh, I'm gonna call the original colorway because it's the same colors as the one in the book, which I have here. This is the one that was uh, in that picture. I love this rug. The, the yarn I used for this is Hooked uh, Ribbon XL, and it's 100% recycled fibers. I believe it's 80% cotton and 20% other recycled fibers. But um, I really love this. We've used it a lot and it still looks fantastic. The, the ribbon yarn, it was my first time really using a ribbon yarn for a pattern like this. And uh, I have to say it's held up really well as a rug. I know a lot of people are a little nervous to put their um, crochet on the floor because they feel like it's gonna get dirty or it's gonna worn out. How do I wash it? Honestly, I just shake this one outside and occasionally vacuum it and it's just fine. <laughs> and I have three boys and a dog. So the, the first uh, yarn kit, and I should mention, I forgot to mention in the, um, the basket part that the, these wooden baskets themselves are not included. Um, when I ship the yarn kit, it will just be the yarn and like any accessories like for the baskets. Uh, these, I got this tray at the thrift store, you know, but I, I really love having a tray for color work. Um, so, you know, if you win this yarn kit and you make the, the rug, try to find yourself a cardboard box or a tray like this to keep your yarn organized. So this yarn is Ice Yarns Jumbo Cotton Ribbon. And this yarn kit is courtesy of Karen at Future Yarns. Thank you for providing this. So it has three balls of gray. This is the main color. It is slightly lighter gray than the, um, the one I just showed you here. Um, but the other colors are pretty much the same. We have, um, this is your contrast color one, contrast color two is this beautiful navy here, contrast color three is this kind of like chocolatey brown there, and then contrast color four, this is actually um, the same color from the middle here. It's uh, hooked ribbon XL. This is, uh, <laughs> you only need a tiny little bit of this. So um, this is actually hooked ribbon XL yarn here too. So that is the original Wind River Rug Kit, or you can just say the original rug colorway. Um, if you wanna win this uh, yarn kit and the copy of the book. And then I have one other um, yarn kit uh, for this Wind River Blanket. And this is what I'm calling the monochrome option. Um, this is also Iced Yarns uh, Jumbo Cotton Ribbon. It's 100% recycled cotton. Um, and then because it's a, basically a dupe for Hooked Ribbon XL, I'm mixing the two yarns here for this yarn kit, but they are absolutely identical. Uh, <laughs> so even though the Hooked yarn says 80% recycled cotton, 20% other recycled fibers, um, I think they'll mix really well. So uh, for the main color here is black, and I think that's really going to pop against contrast color one, which is a really pure white here. Um, and then contrast color two is the uh, hooked yarns, darker gray. Contrast color three is this lighter gray ice yarns. And then contrast color four is white again. So that, um, that little pop in the, in the middle of the, the yarn here, uh, middle of the stars, that is gonna be white again, just like, you know, this other white. So we're using two colors for the, the same, you know, using white for both contrast color one and contrast color four. So I also love to make these in just two colors. You can carry your yarn and not have any yarns to weave in. If you wanna um, you know, follow that kind of technique section in the back of the book about carrying yarns. Um, I should have brought them out here. I made two of these um, in a smaller size, a worse the weight cotton. Um, and I carried the yarn the whole time uh, using Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton. When I get back to the house, <laughs> I'll get those out to show you because they turned out really cool. Um, so I just wanted to mention, yeah, this uh, this pattern is useful for more than just rugs and blankets. Um, 
So, all right, well, <laughs> that's all the yarn I brought out here to the backyard. I'm gonna sit here and just soak in the forest for another minute before I go back uh, to the house and show you the last two yarn kits I have to give away, which are for the first pattern in the book, the Rio Grande Striped Towels. All right, <laughs> I'm back to show you those two Wind River pieces I just mentioned, where I followed the pattern just as written for the, the blanket or the rug, but I used worsted weight cotton and a five millimeter hook. So this is Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton. And if you want to just do the two color look here for your Wind River piece, um, use one color as the main color, contrast color two and contrast color four. So this indigo color was my main color, contrast color two and contrast color four. And then the Ecru color of Sugar and Cream Cotton, I used for contrast color one and contrast color three. And I just reversed it for this one. I used white for the main color, this Ecru color. And indigo is this kind of classic Southwestern pattern. We see it everywhere around here, like on fences and, um, you know, clothing, everything. So I thought these were really fun. Just that's, this is what happens if you follow the Wind River pattern, but don't use bulky yarn or super bulky yarn like the Hook Driven XL or um, Hook Spaghetti. Hook yarn is awesome. They have a lot of worsted, great worsted yarns. <laughs> You can still use those, but um, yeah, just use worsted yarn, a smaller hook, and you get this um, kind of baby blanket size, I would call this. It would be a good stroller blanket, like car seat blanket, um, or changing mat uh, for babies. To me, it's a little bit big for a um, kitchen towel, but I would use this as a hand towel for sure, um, especially if we were camping or something, if we only bring a few towels. So... <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll try to put together a yarn kit for these next. So um, I have two more yarn kits here to show you, but many more yarn giveaways to come. So make sure you follow and subscribe so you can get a notification about the next ones of those. So the first um, yarn kit I'm going to show you, I forgot my book. <laughs> it's for the, the first pattern in the book, the Rio Grande Striped Towels. Um, we use cotton towels like this all the time um, at home in the kitchen. They're good for laying out on the counter and drying pots and pans on and just drying your hands on. Um, these have not been washed yet. This is like little sugar and cream cotton. It does feel a little um, stiff out of the ball, but as you wash these over the years, I have a kitchen towel um, made in this yarn that's, oh, it's older than at least one of my children, if not, it's probably 10 years old now. And it's still caking so soft, works great, so absorbent. So they are a little stiff right out of the ball, but as you use them and wash them, they really soften like butter. So the first one is a, I'm calling the Colorado Blue Skies color, colorway here. And each kit has enough yarn to make three towels because part of the fun of these Rio Grande striped towels is in the ombre, the gradient, seeing like the rainbow, right? So I just couldn't stop making them. <laughs> I made so many of them. Um, and so I, I figured you have to make at least three towels. So the first towel here is Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton in the color Blueberry. Uh, the sun is so bright now, it's kind of hard to see. But this is enough for one towel. Oh, this fly won't go away. Um, and uh, enough of the contrast colors. Um, this is line, uh, Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton in Ecru and Warm Brown. This is enough contrast colors to make all three towels. Uh, the next color is Lily Sugar and Cream in this light blue color. That's just uh, really beautiful. It is like a Colorado blue sky, although most often our, our sky is that kind of cornflower blue here. And then the last color is um, Lion Brand Pima Cotton, so slightly different brand and the Dragonfly color. This is what I used for my um, Lightning Feather Poncho, which is a free pattern on Ravelry if you haven't seen that yet. So this kit to make three Rio Grande striped towels, I'm going to call this the Colorado Skies, Colorado Skies color kit, because <laughs> all these beautiful blues here um, to make kind of a ombre of, of a set of three towels for you to use in the, the kitchen, you can use them in hand towels, um, you know, in the car, anything really. And the final yarn kit for today, I'm going to call the Colorado Sunset yarn kit. This hard to see in this bright sun. I probably should have moved inside, but some really beautiful purples. Um, two balls of Lily Sugar and Cream in the Dark Orchid colorway. It's 
is really kind of beautiful royal purple. Uh, three balls of this sugar and cream cotton in the hot purple colorway, a little bit lighter purple there. And two balls of Lion Brand Pima cotton in rose taupe. So I think together they just look like a really beautiful sunset. Um, I'm looking out at the lake over here <laughs> and sometimes we just get a really amazing sunsets over there. Just beautiful pinks and purples. So that's what inspired this color palette. Um, and then enough of the Lily Sugar and Cream and the Ikru and Warm Brown to use as your contrast color. One contrast color two for all three of these towels. Um, for three towels you would need uh, 120 yards. So just in case someone's uh, gauge is a little bit different, I threw a little extra in there. <laughs> so those are the six yarn kits for now. Um, to enter, comment below if you want to comment with your uh, first choice and second choice yarn kits of all the ones that we've covered. Um, we have the pink basket kit, the blue basket kit, the original rug colorway, the monochrome rug um, kit, monochrome rug colorway kit, and then we have this Colorado Skies Blues towel kit, and then our Sunset, Colorado Sunsets kind of purple uh, towel kit here. And um, each uh, yarn kit, all the winners will receive a copy of Crochet Southwest Spirit. And also a couple fun, pretty peaceful stickers I'll throw in there. And good luck to everyone. Um, as I mentioned, I'll mail to winners all over the world just have to be able to um, email me your address if I comment below saying you're like you're the winner um, make sure you can get back to me with your address so I can drop them in the mail um, we will be mailing from Southwest Colorado USA here um, and the contest will close July 31st so comment no later than um, like 11 59 p.m. mountain time on July 31st and I'll pick a winner August 1st and hopefully get those in the mail right away um, we are kind of remote out here, so it takes a while <laughs> for mail to arrive, but um, uh, if you are outside of the U.S., you'd have to pay the duties um, to get your package. That would be your responsibility. And um, thank you to Yarn Inspirations, uh, who has provided some of those yarn. Thank you to Hooked Yarns um, for providing yarn support for several of the patterns in my book. Thank you to Karen at Future Yarns for providing the, the Wind River Rug kits. Um, and thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope you met her and I hope you um, win and make something beautiful with that yarn kit. And um, I hope that this is like the gift that keeps on giving. If you want a book that you can make gifts for other people. And you know, um, I love giving away gifts. It makes me happy. So <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.